Meanwhile, up the road in Waterdown, instead of hands, it was noses looking for Easter eggs. Today was the 25th annual Easter egg hunt for dogs and families in their pooches signed up to help support the training of service dogs for those in need. Jason Guidola has that story. Stuffed with milk bone treats, a herd of pooches were on the hunt for plastic eggs in Waterdown this morning. It's good, it's good. Yeah, he's, he just wanted to open up all the eggs and eat all the treats, so. Connie, her daughter Livia, and their nine-year-old lab, Taz, say it's all about giving back. He's actually a retired um, service dog, so yeah, he's, he's actually retired. So he's just here supporting the cause. Cause for celebrating 25 years to help develop service dogs for those in need. Canada's largest provider, National Service Dogs, held its annual fundraiser at Joe Sam's Park, where 95 families and 150 of their furry friends donated and then sniffed their way through a scattered field of roughly 4,500 eggs. From boxers <laughs> to little Bostons, many were enjoying the treats. Good boy. Oh, this is Stanley the Bosty. Um, he has his own Instagram and he's a very, very social. He's attracted when they're slightly open because he can smell the treat inside. Good. She's being very picky. She's spitting out the treats. She doesn't want them apparently, but still lots of fun. National Service Dog says that all proceeds will go to the development and training of dogs to help those in need. And the average cost per dog is around $50,000. So each of our dogs takes two years to raise and train, then we match them with clients and provide the clients with eight years of ongoing support services for free. And we receive no government funding, so events like this are our bread and butter. Executive Director Danielle Forbes says the organization supports children living with autism, veterans with PTSD, and others with physical and mental trauma. Um, and most of the service dog providers in Canada coming out of COVID have were delayed getting dogs out the door, so the wait lists are very long for dogs. Similar events were held in four other cities across the province today. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Waterdown.